Hey, what up everybody, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing my top 10 favorite Overwatch characters. Please hit that like button before we start. But anyway, let's get right into this. I did a little bit of a teaser last video. Go check that out, it was epic. Let's get right into it. Coming in on the number 10 spot is Roadhog. Roadhog was my ace for a really long time until I started training with a different character on this list and another character on this list. Two characters on this list after this. Um, it's, a, it's not for the looks for this one, it's for nostalgia. Roadhog was the first person or the first character I used to get to play the game with. The second one was Bastion. A really, really powerful Overwatch character, and I would love to keep using this character a lot. Now, let's go right into number nine. Coming in in the number nine spot is Ash. By the way, that does not say Ash E, that says Ash silently. E. Um, Ash is just a really cool character. I like that it has its shock, a shotgun, but has some decent range too, so it's like a shotgun and a sniper. Kind of like, um, Widowmaker with a assault rifle and a sniper, but shotgun and a sniper is more, like, versatile. I think, I think, that's, I think that's what versatile means, like has more of a difference I, I don't know but it has a shotgun which is really good for damage for close range and a sniper for really good damage for long range and it just looks cool just a cool character it's a cowgirl my first my favorite movie when I was a child was Toy Story, so I'm gonna like anything to do with the cowboys or cowgirls, and it's one of the friend I was going to get playing with on Overwatch last video. Like I said at the beginning, go check that out. Was using Ash, so um, that's gonna be it for number nine. Let's get right in to number eight. Coming in on number eight is probably the only somewhat cute overwatch character it has a little hamster which i really like when you go to pick your hero and then you go to wrecking ball and it has this little hamster it's just like hey i'm a little hamster and then you pick the hamster and it's really just an amazing powerful character and actually number 10 was actually really close with number nine, so just gonna quickly point that out. And it's a really, really amazing character. I used this character a few times, and I just think it's such a really good character that obviously I'm gonna use it. So that's gonna be it with number eight. This cute little adorable little hamster. And this in this picture it just looks kind of angry but let's go on to number seven number seven is doomfist doomfist is just a really cool character the only bad thing is that it really isn't too good i guess it is good saying it's has far ranged attacks i don't get why a character would be called doomfist and have some like little darts come out of its hand but I really like that it's literally tactically a, a thunder fist. <laughs> it's really cool. Since it seems like it's a thunder fist on the picture right here. It's really cool. And I, I really like using melee characters with really powerful melee attacks. Such as Doomfist. And it's just a really cool design saying it has like half of it is like a... Like a hand it's kind of like cyborg cy cy 
Cyborg from Team Titans Go, where it has half of it kind of like a cyborg or something. Even though I think it's armor, it, it looks like a cyborg. Half of it is human kind of thing. And now let's go to number six. Number six is Widowmaker. Widowmaker used to be my main. It I wasn't very good with Widowmaker, but it used to be the... Actually, it wasn't my main. I just really like the... Kind of like idea, like with Ash, where it, where it has a two different kind of guns, somewhat. But this had an assault rifle, which at the time was really fun to use for me. Now I just think it's kind of annoying, saying in Halo it's really annoying, saying it hardly ever hits. And same with Widowmaker, the assault rifle is really hard to hit, for me at least. And I, I, I got to play the game twice with this character. But most of them were just because the opponents were like level 5s and I was like level 12. But um, that's it with number 6. Let's move on to number 5. Coming in at number 5 is Reaper. Reaper is just a really cool character. Like, seriously. Who wouldn't like this character? It's literally based off of a Grim Reaper. It's not very bad. At, it's not a very bad character. Like, mm, let me think. It's probably the fifth best attack or damage character. Probably. It's really good just overall. It does quite a few damage, and I really like that it can disappear and come back. Like, it goes through the shadows and stuff. That's what it seems like it's doing. Oh, I just messed up. One second, I'll be right back. I was just checking if you could see where my location was, because I don't want that to be a thing. Okay, so it's just a really cool character, and I would like to start using it as a main at some point, but... Probably not going to happen. Wait until number one. Everyone knows this. If they're watching my previous two Overwatch videos, everyone knows what my favorite is. Let's go on to number four. Number four is McCree. Last video I did say McCree was really bad. But it's not too bad. But it, the character itself is cool. But not, not its power. It's like a downgraded version of Reaper. Tactically. Like in power, but um, it's really po it's really cool, not powerful, but it seems like it would be powerful since look at, look at the barrel of that gun. That looks like it's shooting a Rasengan. gun. That's just cool. And a revolver was always my favorite gun because revolvers are just really cool. I like how it goes like like the, the round comes out of the side. Push out the side and then load it and then push back in. It's really cool. I really like revolvers. That's why Black Ops 4 isn't... I like playing Black Ops 4 only because of the revolver. I don't like the, like, how you can't make it, like, bots all on the opponent team. Or you might be able to, just I don't know how. But, um... That is it for number four. Let's go on to number three. Coming in on number three is Bastion. By the way, this isn't the normal Bastion, but who cares? It's the Overgrowth skin, which is also a really cool skin. So Bastion is on my top three since right now, or the previous video I did, I was using Bastion. I didn't do very good. But I got I, I got played the game with Bastion, I believe, four or five times, which is kind of insane. And those guys I was playing with, I got played the game once with them, with Bastion. And, and Bastion is just a really cool character. I really like the ro robots, or robot characters, like Scizor... Genesect. Why am I talking about Pokemon now? This is an Overwatch video, but I really like those type of characters, which is why 
it's in my top three. Or most, or most importantly, top five. Because it could be my top three least favorite. Or my top five least favorite. When I think about it, I don't make any sense. So, that is it for number three, other than it's really powerful. It's like the new D.Va. It's actually better than D.Va. It, it has half of D.Va's health, but it can also heal, unlike D.Va. Or half of D.Va's mech form. But it has less than D.Va's, like, both forms mixed. I count both forms of D.Va mixed, but... Yeah, that's it for number three. Let's go on to number two, which might surprise you. Number two is Hanzo. I don't know if this is true, but one of my friends told me it was Genji's brother. I'm not sure if that's true at all, but hopefully it is, because then that would be pretty cool that number two is also Genji's brother, which is pretty cool, and I like Genji. But it's probably not in my top ten. But yeah. Um Hanzo is just a really cool character. I really like bows. And actually, if you don't already know, I'm practicing using a bow. I wanna be an archer. So, um, I really like Hanzo for the reason that it just looks so cool. It reminds me of a lot of a lot. Of the old times, like, or should I say medieval, like mid medieval kind of style, where they had bows and swords and stuff like that. So it reminds me of a lot of that, just it adds a little bit of a twist, seeing it has super powerful arrows. And it reminds me of, of Green Arrow, which I really like Green Arrow. It's a cool, it's a cool superhero. That's pretty much all I gotta say. I I'm not very good at Hanzo. I heard Gon Hanzo is a really good character, but I'm not really good at it. Let's just move on to number one. You have been tricked. I said Genji wasn't in my top ten, but it is in my wait. It's not my top ten. That's my top one. There you go. It's my favorite. Overwatch character. Genji, I just think, is an epic Overwatch character. It has a sword. It has shuriken. Or throwing stars, whatever you want to call it. It is a dragon ninja. That is epic. All I have to say. And if, if this isn't your favorite, I don't know what you're doing. But it's cool. And if... If you don't think this is cool, you're lying to yourself. It's just a cool character. And it reminds me a lot of Naruto, your ninja. Thinking your head real quick. Oh, oh wait. Those are my favorite characters for those series. Reminds me of Dragon Type, which Dragon Types are just epic. Like, that's just epic. I just accidentally switched to Hanzo because I'm so amazed by this character. And I switched to those. Because I'm so amazed by this character. This character. So epic. So epic. I could be here all day saying why this thing is amazing. Also, I really like the carbon fiber skin. It's a really good combination of colors on a ninja. And like I said, probably next Overwatch video, I am using Genji. I'm excited to use Genji. Genji, I'm not the best at. I guess it's somewhat of a main, but it's not really. Because Genji has really bad health. Even though it has metal armor. So that's definitely metal. So that will be the end of today's video. Let's go on to the outro. I honestly don't know why I said let's go on an outro. So that's going to be the end of today's video. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to see more of these videos. Peace.
everybody. Actually, a quick, a quick announcement. I'm going to make another Overwatch video tomorrow, so stay tuned. Peace out.